Okay, um, hello everyone, I am Delizard Gamer. I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to fix Gary's Wild 9 since no one can play it. And because some people might know a fix, but I haven't seen any videos of people trying to introduce this fix. And if you do not, if you want Gary's Mod 9 first off and you don't have it, I would advise going to the filefront.com and going into the Half-Life 2 downloads and going to Gary's Mod and you should be able to get Gary's Mod, Mod version 9 beta from there. And before you can actually do this, you need Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. You don't really need Counter-Strike Source, but it would be advised because you can turn off the the loading of the content of Counter-Strike Source. So then once you've got that, and you've installed it, you should have a folder in your Steam apps, Source Mods, and there should be a Gmod 9 folder. Once you've gone into your Steam folder, then click on Steam Apps, and then Source Mods. Then once you're in the G9 folder, scroll down to where it says Game Info, we're going to edit this, we're going to edit the single file you. Now down here it says Steam App ID. Uh, whatever number is to the right, which I believe is 220 or something like that, you should change it to 215. Remember, change it to 215 to actually be able to get it to work. Once we've done that, then you should be able to run it now. Once you're in Steam, it would give up, it would give an update. But I've already done it so many times. And now Gary's mod should be fully playable. And now while it's loading, um, the reason why is because Half-Life 2 was um, the engine had version engine had been changed. Instead of using the norm, just the normal um, Half-Life 2 engine, which is Source Engine, they used the Orange Box version, which came out with the most of the, like, the other Half-Life 2 games and Team Fortress and all that. And, um, 